Hi, I'm Luciana vasquez -Janik. And I'm Ryan Cleary. We are both members of the HMS Student Council. We are so excited that we both found a way to get involved this year, our first year at HMS. We would also like to welcome three of our sixth grade teachers, people who have done a great job making our first year at HMS a special one, regardless of our circumstances. Mrs. Young, Ms. McFadden, and Mr. Oxman, thank you so much for being with us. We are continuing our celebration of Women's History Month with our March Madness Tournament. Teachers will be presenting, teachers, we will be presenting uh, to you the stories of two great women, and we will be able to determine who moves on to the next round. It's our turn to play the teacher for you. We hope you learned something you didn't know before. Ryan, even though it's ladies first, I'm gonna let you get started. Tell our teachers, guests, a little more about Sally Ride. Knowledge is defined as information or skills acquired through experience or education. Someone who embodies that trait is Sally Ride. Sally Ride was great at many things, one of, the, one of them being the sport of tennis. Growing up, Ride was one of the top ranked tennis players in the entire country. Ride was also incredibly smart. She did very well at Stanford College and even earned a master's degree in PhD in physics. And she did research in astrophysics. Later, Sally applied to be an astronaut for NASA. And she was one of only 25 people to be accepted into the program. 8,000 people applied for it. After two years of hard work, Sally became the first woman to go to outer space. That is why Sally Ride is the perfect example of someone with, with lots of knowledge. So what do you think of, about her, teachers? Are we supposed to know information about her on our own that we share with you or just go on what you told us? Uh, just judge it on what I told you. Well, I think she's pretty accomplished and it sounds like she's pretty well-rounded. She was an athlete. She was also really uh, intelligent. She pursued a PhD in astrophysics. I don't even know what that is. Um, and that she was passionate because she applied for, um, you know, the opportunity with NASA to be an astronaut and was chosen over thousands of other people. So she definitely is well-rounded and seems very passionate and excited and determined. Okay, well, I think it's your turn, Lucy. Who are we going to hear about now? You have a love for finding out who done it and a passion for chemistry. You get an inspirational analytical chemist who is changing the world through science by inspiring one person at a time. Dr. Rachel Birch is an analytical chemist with a passion for finding out who done it. As a child, her love for solving mysteries and catching criminals filled her days. This desire to learn more about science was motivated by watching Murder, She Wrote, a television show about a woman who solves crimes. Hmm. Years later, Rachel Birch graduated from Northern Iowa University with a master's degree in forensic science. Her degree led to years of work in a crime lab, figuring out real life mysteries to catch the criminals. After her work in the forensic lab, she attained a PhD from the, in chemistry from the University of Nebraska. This catapulted her return to the classroom at American University in Washington, DC as an assistant professor of analytical chemistry. Dr. Burks is also the co-founder of the National Science and Technology News Service, which connects journalists with African-American STEM professionals to accurately portray science in the media. Some of her awards include the 2019 AAAS If Then Ambassador Award and the 2020 American Chemical Society Grady Stack Award for her public engagement excellence. Today, she continues to work diligently to advocate for people of color and women in science fields. Lucy, could you repeat her last name? Rachel Burks. Did it's you say up to you now. Oh, yes. thank you, Mr. Langan. Oh, Burks. Okay. It's, okay. 
It's up to you now, teachers. Talk amongst yourself. Who should move on to the next round? This is a tough choice for sure. They both are very accomplished. They both were very determined, I think. I'm surprised that, and I'm going to be totally honest, I didn't, I hadn't heard of either one of them before um, this presentation. So thank you for enlightening me. And I'm not sure which way I'm going to vote yet. Well, I have to say, I think Ryan, you said Sally Ride, I believe was the first woman in space, correct? Which is very impressive to be the first woman to do anything. But on the other hand, Rochelle Burks, um, I like the way she's advocating for careers in STEM. I like how she's advocating for people of color. So like Mr. Oxman said, both very accomplished women. So this is a toughie. Uh, I agree. I do like the one thing that I do think that Burks is still, I, I don't know if Sally Ride is still active, but uh, Burks is still active and advocating and, you know, working towards in, more inclusion of minorities and women in important fields. Um, and with the pandemic this year, the idea of working in chemistry and science and STEM is more important than ever. Um, so it, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Do we have to pick one? We have to decide? Yeah. Okay. Does it have to be unanimous? Um, I don't know how it can be unanimous. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, because be. there's three of us, so okay. it won't be. Um, you want me to go first? I, sure. I, I, I kind of know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I think I'm going to pick Rachel Burke. I wrote Branch, but it's Burks. <laughs> Partly because I feel like um, I don't know as much about her and her notoriety might not be out there with Sally Ride. If you said Sally Ride, I couldn't have given you all of those details, but I know, I know a lot about her. And I think it's important to continue to um, be in the good work of furthering women and minorities and people who may have been overlooked um, in the past for positions that they certainly can contribute and um, you know be purposeful in. So I'm going to say Dr. Rachel Burke. I didn't think I would say that when you started, but I I'm going with her. All right, Mr. Oxman, you can go if you want. I, I knew that Miss McFadden and Mrs. Young would help um, swing my vote, and they did toward Dr. Burke, although I didn't, don't know what Mrs. McFadden is going to say yet, but Mrs. Young did. Thank you for um, helping me choose Dr. Burke's. And I also agree. That is my vote as well. I mean, I do love Sally Ride's story. Like I said, I love to read about the first woman to do anything in any field. I think that's really important. But for all the reasons that Mrs. Young said, I also am going to vote for Dr. Burks. Okay, so it looks like Rachel Burks will be headed to the semifinals. Woo! Thanks, teachers, for giving us your time, and thanks to everyone for watching. We hope to, we hope you tune in to see our friends present the stories of some more great women in history. Bye. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you. Great job, Rachel and Lucy. Uh, Rachel, that's Ryan and Lucy.